Many times, the Dalai Lama gives a sage response to accusations of hypocrisy. The Dalai Lama asserts that to most efficiently convey his message, it is necessary to say different things to different people. I believe that a healthy communicator is charged with four labors when transmitting ideas. The first labor is feeling all the wondrous and terrible feelings the word has to offer. One must recognize that all is ephemeral. Order is not the state of the universe. And since the speaker has only one mouth and limited being, the speaker should select the emotions and ideas that are salient. The pain of losing a loved one far outweighs the joy of winning the lottery. Therefore, humanity may appear to defer to suffering than to happiness. The challenge here is in accepting and confronting one's feelings as well as being in tune with more than that which they have been conditioned to perceive. The second labor involves that the speaker select words and phrases that adequately reflect the speaker's emotions and ideas. The use of swear words may be correlated with diminished vocabulary. If you disagree, I suggest that the next time you swear, or even use emojis, that you see how quickly you can rephrase the same idea in five different ways. The wider your vocabulary is, the better you will be able to express sentiments that burn passionately. The third labor takes into consideration how the world, how the words reach the listener. Using a telephone can lead to mishearing. Written communication frequently is lacking in subtle emotional cues, while speaking in person can create pressure. The speaker should also consider other physical factors that will influence the person's perception. Height differences, sex differences, class differences, among others, will impact how the message is being delivered. For example, a person who is sitting down may likely interpret the words of someone who is standing up as being more intimidating. And vice versa, the words of someone who is sitting down may seem dismissive to a person who is standing. The venerable may even see the use of emojis as shallow and insulting when discussing grave topics. The fourth is the labor of honesty and requires consideration for how the listener will feel about what is being said. If one says to an obese person, you are fat, the obese person will not think, I have comparatively large deposits of hydrocarbon chains storing energy along my viscera. The obese person will instead only hear, you are ugly. In this way, telling the truth, or saying things, or telling things like it is, is dishonest. Chaos is not the way of the universe. If you remember these labors, every time you speak, you will realize that inside every one of us lies a fragment of truth, and that each one of us is an irreplaceable breath of God, worthy of love and forgiveness, beautiful, just like you.